Hi everybody, it's Cindy Jewelry Nurse. I am coming to you live from Steels and Dills. I have Dawn and Mary from Two Hip Chicks. <laughs> As you may remember, we had them on a month or so ago. They were a lot of fun, so we decided to have them Aww. back. They were, they were fun. They were a blast. I got a lot of uh, positive feedback about how much fun they were. So let's do it again. Um, we they are resellers. I'll let them tell you about what they do. They do a little bit of everything in addition to jewelry. They do a myriad of other items. So there'll be all kinds of goodies available tonight. We are right now just doing a preview so you can see what they have in case you're interested. You can do your homework um, just to help you make a informed purchase, basically, is why we kind of do this. We will be going live at 7 Central Standard Time for the actual auction. But right now we're just going to spend a few minutes going over tonight and what they're going to have tonight. I see we have a lot of people in the chat already. Oh, yeah. Oh, did I pop the wrong chat? Oopsie. Why am I not seeing everybody in this one? I don't huh. know. Live chat? Larry doing me no good, so let me get rid of it. <laughs> I see we have quite a few people already. Hi, Larry and Perla and Vanessa and Cajun Root Seller and JRKR. We got mm -hmm. Cindy Roach. We got Ann Dar. We got Joanne and Sandy Brown. We got quite a few with us already. The so usual I'm suspects. <laughs> I am not going to waste a lot of time um, yapping, so I'm just going to turn it over to Mary and Dawn and let them tell you all about their channel. And there is a link to their channel in the description box when the video posts. There's also a, um, I sent out an email. If you're registered at Stills and Dills, you would have gotten that email. It's got a reminder in it that you can set for tonight's auction also. But I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Mary and Dawn. They can tell you all about their shipping and all that good stuff and what they do on their channel. There you go, oh, ladies. You're big. You're big. It always book. It always looks. It's like, ta-da! You're big. Isn't it? I know. And I just again. discovered you can actually enlarge that screen on StreamYard now. That's even scarier. <laughs> yeah, that's terrifying. How, how, you see the chin hairs are on? Oh, no, we're good. Okay. Oh, God. Well, yeah, it gets big. I don't know if it's HD, but it's big. <laughs> anyway, so um, hi guys, it's Donna hi, Mary. Everybody, you remember us from the last time we were here, but also um, we have a, a live show that we do Tuesdays and Thursdays for some weird reason at noon uh, Eastern Time. Some weird reason. It's not always about reselling. Let's no, just that. but it's just, called chick chat. So, so it's like, chatty. But we we sell on multiple platforms. So we sell mostly on eBay, mm -hmm. some on Amazon, some on Etsy. We kind of phased down on the Etsy a little bit. We have a, a, a antique booth. Yes, and we have a website. And we have a website. So we're doing a, we're doing a lot. We spe I specialize in uh, different things than Mary does. So I specialize in vintage electronics, games, um, weirdness. We'll just call it that. Uh, and Mary, vintage, um, vintage china, vintage glassware. glassware Fabric patterns, crafty um, stuff, and the fabric and the crafts don't necessarily have to be vintage, but, but um, yeah, I love finding old fabrics and old patterns that are uncut and just sharing them with the world. Yeah, bring them back to life. Keep them I from just, the compost. It's, yeah, it's. Yeah. I love doing that because you know we just what sold. A 1930s sewing pattern. Mm -hmm. I wow. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. When I found that, That's and cool. it was a long Uncut. tail thing, but it finally sold. That's amazing. And yeah. So oh people are out there buying because they like that vintage look. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I know my sister has a bunch of those, and they are a lot of people that collect those vintage patterns. Yeah. So, like, tonight we'll be bringing some vintage fabrics that Mary's accumulated as well. So, that'll oh, be that's cool. a word for it. Accumulate. Accumulated. <laughs> it's not hoarding. <laughs> not a death pile. It's accumulated. But we had other stuff, too. Do um, you want to start showing some sure. stuff? Okay. All right. One of the lots we're going to be selling tonight. Saving world from trash. Exactly. Um, are some vintage brooches. And I don't. 
Ooh, yeah, definitely looks vintage. There we'll we do. go. There we'll we do. go. We'll do a lot we'll of this. We'll tent it. Ooh. So it's not showing. What up is that well. about? What? Um, hold on. There's more. How, how big is it? <laughs> Ooh. That's like almost three inches. So it's white and gold, and really no. Well, you're that's gonna, you're gonna do that. That's now? a measurement. So it's not. It is vintage, but it's one of those clasp or the yeah. rolly claspy thing. And there is just yeah. one issue with it, which doesn't show up, of course. It's got a little missing paint or whatever. Really? So there's that. But you don't see it when you're wearing it, probably. No, because it's at the top. If somebody's going to get that close to you while you're wearing that brooch, you really need to make sure you know them well. <laughs> and then we have... You have paint on your finger. Uh, yeah, Aww. sorry about the paint, guys. She's staining I, furniture. I'm staining stuff. <laughs> That's pretty. So... Um, That's, That's wild. There's no mark on this. That I know it of. It's an odd little patina to it, though. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Am I weird or what? It's odd. But odd is good. That's kind of cool. I don't know what that little stone is in the middle either. I'm thinking if that's the least amount of stain you got on you while well, she's doing a job, you right? Be an expert. <laughs> I'd be covered. I'd be wearing rubber gloves, but. Oh, yes. it's. I. <laughs> yeah, I have to wear like my old clothes and everything because it's just a mess. Um, so there's like this little turquoise greenish stone in the middle. Mm -hmm. And then there's, and I don't think these are diamonds, but there's all these little diamond like chips. chips in it. Chips. So I'm thinking it's probably like 1930s or 40s. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, it looks like it could be. Are any of them signed on the back? Uh, no. And trust me, I went over it with a fine tooth. Cone and, and just nothing. Nope. And then that's cool. That's almost Wakandan. Um, this one is marked that's L cool. L slash N, which is Little Nemo. It's manufactured <laughs> by the Briar Manufacturing, and they were founded in 1913. Wow. This is why I love her. She she knows all this stuff. Or she yeah, doesn't. it's an awesome so bird, too. The awesome. only issue with this is it's missing one little blue stone up on top up on the top. top. Okay. So those are easily replaceable. Usually, yeah. That's what yeah. I just I love this thing. It's just it's kind of cool. It's almost like a shield. Yeah, it's so pretty. Princess Casserole wants to see the back. Of this one? Hey, Anita. Show them the and background. Roll. And Carla. Oh, help yourself. So there's that. There you go. Oh, it's actually cut out. Nice. Yeah. So in the center is where it's marked L slash N. Huh. That's cool. Yeah, watch the pin. Yeah. And then this is... Um, what do you call those? Roll yeah, class? I'm not. Barrel class or something? Yeah. So. That's cool. It's a box going too? Yep. And then I'm not sure if that's leather or not. It looks like it is. It's a nice little leather box. Oh, nice little box. It's, it's got gold. Bottom, it makes it look like it is. Um, it's got gold trim on the top. And this measures. I knew I'd. Have, I knew I'd use this again. Hold on. <laughs> I knew I'd use it again. Well, it's about four inches by three, ish. About an inch deep. Gotta right. hide your eyes, Roberta. Roberta likes those little boxes. They're cool. <laughs> she got a thing for them. <laughs> Trinket boxes. They're great. Oh, more jewelry. Okay, we're gonna be playing with jewelry for a while. Uh, another cameo. Welcome to Don and Mary's House of Cameos. Um, Hold that ring up. The ring is... No, no, I got a job. Size... Yeah, it's not. Yeah, well, you know. It's a six and a half. 
this is not the best focusing camera. And it's marked 14 oh, carat um, GE. 14 carat GE. Gold electric plate, I think, is what that oh, means. Oh, okay. I think. Yeah, GE Espo. That's cool. It almost looks like this. So this is kind of our cameo lot. And we're not cameos. real up on cameos, but and I apologize that these are not showing up. Focusing well. Are they shell or resin? To be honest, I don't know. How can you tell? Um well, if you have a loop, look at it closely. If it's shell, you usually can tell the difference. Um, you can see like tool marks in it. You can also see that the head is actually part of it, that there's, it's not been glued down or um, resin. You can kind of feel it feels sort of rubbery. If oh. it's shell, it'll feel glass. Usually too, if you put it up to the light, I'm if the back is open, usually on it, you can see through the shell. Yeah, this you can see through. There we go. Sorry. Oh, goodness me. Hold on. That looks a light light. color. Yeah, you can see. Through. I can see light through the back of this one. So, and that one as well. Little pendant. And then here's another pendant. That's the back. I am not good with the camera. <laughs> That one's not open, so you can't tell. And this yeah. has a P stamped on the back of it. Okay. For we don't know what. I don't know what. And this is, I mean, the ones that you can see through, they're a little different. Like that one looks whiter to me. Yeah, Maybe the last know. one is the back is not open. Chances are that yeah. one may be... Um, yeah, and that's another thing too. Yeah, that's French press right. will bought up. They're usually cold to the touch. That one where, where the uh, resin, resin isn't. Yeah, this one feels cold. Er. Yeah, mm -hmm. that one looks like it may be the real thing. Yeah, that's the real thing. This one is. There's still value in the um, people still collect them, whether oh, they're yeah. resin or shell. So usually the ones that are shell have a little more value to them. Hi, Perla. So these are um, a pair of post earrings, pierced earrings. She's got more stain on her fingers than you can see, people. Just saying. Uh, ah, ah. Well, she got them. Just dropped on my turntable. That's all. So <laughs> that's all. There's no record on my turntable. Right there's now. that. And then last but not least, Danglies to wire, wire for pierced ears. Oh, those are nice. Those are, are those. Um, are those just base metals or any of them sterling silver or gold? Oh, I know the um, one is gold, gold, this is the gold, gold, gold electric. Show you the, the back has a. I would say they're just um, gold tone metal. And that okay. gold, there's no stamps on these. Yeah. All right. And those backs are open on those. So yep, chances are this may be the real thing. Too. Yeah, we can see light through those too. All right. So that's the cameo lot. So that's one lot. We're bringing a few jewelry pieces today, huh? Yeah. Okay. And then I'll just show these real quick. Um, Burstone Brats, I think they were called. I remember those. I have some in both gold and silver. There you go. Are those gold? all my children, so, grandkids? So these are all marked nine two five. Okay. Oh, you got a bunch of different ones. So there's November. It's topaz. topaz. Oh. And then the red ruby is a little girl, and. Whoops, sorry. There you go. <laughs> um, this little girl is taller than the rest. That's July. And then that's more, yeah, that's more. Okay. This is the blue sapphire, and that's for September. Are they all 925? Yep. They're all 925. Nice. Which at least I know that means silver, right? Yep, that does mean silver. She's learning. I'm learning. I'm telling you, man. 
I know nothing. And then nothing the last jewelry. jewelry lot. Those are oh, those are pierced. Okay. Yep. Those are cool. So these are marked nine two five silver. They're Mex from Mexico. So they got a little stone on the top. Yeah, I'm not. It's a green, green greenish with a help. dark highlights. They're not shiny though. Mine isn't. Is your shiny? Yes, I polished them. No, I didn't mean the metal. I meant the stone. No, it it's kind so, of it's, it's kind of a buff. Yeah. So that's so they're for pierced ears. I have to wait till another nice. piece. Are these nine two five? Yeah. Ooh, these are nine two five. I think that's amazing. And then with this lot is that pendant. Oh. And that's you may hold it up. Ooh, pretty. That's so a that's a pendant. And it's marked. That. It's turquoise and sterling. Oh, ah, pretty. So I like the shape like of that. Some, it's yeah, inlaid. Yeah, there's silver. I don't know if you can see the details on the inlay. It looks like a sideways F, maybe. Yeah, it does have some nice inlay. Looks like they it's did a good yeah. job on that inlay. Yeah. I'm gonna try to find a better camera. <laughs> see if we can't get a so. Shot of some um, of these. It's got a symbol on the back. Um, but I, I searched and I searched and I couldn't find any Native American um, symbols, symbols that up. matched an artist. That's cool. All right. It can be hard Here, to find. Diana is the one that usually knows all of those symbols yeah. or knows where to find them. Hopefully she's around. She'll, and then she'll course, probably be around tonight. So hopefully, yeah, that'll yeah. help. And of course, we're going to have Magic the Gathering cards as well as some Pokemon cards. Lots of those. Also, um, you know those lighted signs that you pick up? Like, I think they even have them at all these. So the, you, put your, you put your own letters in it. Let me show yeah. you. Hold yeah, actually, I think I Sandy has here. one of those hanging on, on her wall behind her. So, yeah, I use this one. Yeah. Right? Well, the letters that go in here, you don't always have enough letters. So I have, as I knock those off, please hold. Excuse us while we rearrange the house. <laughs> um, we've got a bunch of, a uh, lot of three different types of letters that'll work with those signs. There's three oh, different nice. colors. So we're going to be selling those as a lot because some people like to use those to just have around the house or decorate. The, if they have a booth, they use them for advertising. So there's uh, oh, a yeah, good idea. Blue, green, and is that? Orange or red? What's it listed as? Um, and they're all they're all also black light. Uh, they light up better in black light, so you'll get that black light effect on these. So those are cool. And there's a hundred pieces in each one. Yeah, it's a full alphabet plus some numbers. So that's cool. We got that. What else do we got? Vanna <laughs> fabric. Let's bring that on up. So we got some vintage fabrics. Um, and this, this is one you can show. So, so this looks almost denim but it's a gray. Yeah. It's a gray stripe. So and these are a knit. No, they're not knit. They feel knit. Oh, they're wool. Possibly. Oh, they're right. ran. The, the gray old. stripe <laughs> fabric is, um, it's actually still got tags There's from a, price tags. from Montgomery Ward. So whenever Montgomery Ward sold fabric, and um, it's fifty percent rayon and fifty percent acetate. Yeah, it's definitely vintage. Let's yeah, so, I think they've been gone at least fifteen years or yeah, more. It, it was at Montgomery Ward. It was seventy nine cents a yard when it was first. Oh wow! Yeah, no, it'd be a lot you. more than that now. So. Um, this piece of fabric is 108 inches by 46 inches. There's four yards in this. It's the same as that, right? So, no. This is three yards. It looks, the same. It looks the same pattern. It's the same pattern, but it, this is three yards. And then there's four yards. So, 144 inches by 46. And then this gray fabric. Oh, that works. I have no idea who made it. I don't know when exactly it was made. Mm -hmm. um, 70 by 62. It feels very similar to those. Yeah. 
Um, and that, yeah, 70 by 62. So if you were doing a retro project. Oh, Invisible Bitter wants to know, um, the auction is at 7 Central, 8 o'clock Eastern. Yep. And if you're in California and you're on your own. Yeah, we don't know. <laughs> we just don't know. I think it's uh, three hours ahead, so. Something like that. Yeah. And so then, that would be like, what, um, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock? Maybe like five o'clock, I think. We've got a load of, we've got a load. We got a lot. We have a lot of plush. I'll just show you those. So we have a load of plush. There's even, there's even some Care Bears in this mix. No, some cute. with tags, some without. They're all in pretty good shape. There's that. There's some Disney in there too. And then, but wait, there's more. Then we have a lot, which includes the uh, squeaky toy book manual on looking up squeaky toys see this plus we're surprising you with your first lot of squeaky toys uh -huh. some have squeaky some don't they're vintage all of them yeah i haven't seen a squeaky toy in a long time so yeah um there's a little crinkle in the book but it it's, it's really got some interesting information in it about the different toys and their values Are so that, those old plastic banks like I have a Barney bank that belonged to my kids when Barney first came out. Does that yeah. kind of stuff sell? Sometimes. Yeah. If, if, yeah. I mean, I've got a few. I mean, uh, of the plastic toys. Yeah. It depends on how how they, how many of them were produced and stuff. We have a mystery box of vintage toys, and since you guys are here, you're gonna get a quick peek, and that's all you get. But there'll be more <laughs> in there too. I hope you all saw that. Now watch everybody go back and freeze frame. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what they'll do. The screenshot. Have, it. <laughs> uh, that's exactly. You got to do that. We got a stack of records. I believe there's, I don't know how many are in here. 14. But there's like four, three or four records in here. And so a lot of LPs will be selling as well. And you'll have to tune in to see which LPs they are. There you go. That's yeah, building right. Yeah, uh, we've got, oh goodness, Oops, those could come too. We've got some movies. We've got a lot of Blu-rays. We have a lot of DVDs. But wait, there's more. See, I'm making Mary work now. Hold on. Well, Blu-ray. That seems like a good idea, too. You yeah. can't get out. They're not even showing movies anywhere. So, hey, yeah, buy up the DVDs. We got these. There's at least three lots of 45s in here. 45 RPM records. Ugh. There you wow. Go. I know. So we got at least, we're going to do them in lots of 40. And they're still so in the jackets. We've got yeah. at least three lots there. And, but wait, there's more. Oh, I'm working on <laughs> Okay, I got a couple purses. This one, oh, it does have a little issue there. I thought that was so cool. Oh, I like that. It's a vintage. It does the, well, it's got the hook and loop, not Velcro kid. Hook and loop. And then open it up. It's uh, made in India. It's got a little pocket on the inside that does have one condition issue that I just noticed, which is a little stain right there. But you know what? There we go. That might come out with a little stain stick. And we got this. Who is this? I love that elephant print. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it is. This is... Blah, 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 blah. Who is this? Vera, Vera Bradley. Bradley. This is in there. I'm not sure if it matches. It doesn't match it, but it's the same color scheme. Um, So we got that one, too. So those are going as well, together, probably. That's a good size purse. Yeah, I love them. And then we've got... Um, thank you. Pick these up. These are listing at fifteen dollars US. They are um, teen teen summer journals, and they got all sorts of cool, like you know, keep track of your summer, keep track of your day, and week kind of things. Free space for writing things. You list your friends, what you're going to be when you grow up. All sorts of things in there. It's really kind of cute. Oh my gosh! And I'm guessing teens right now need those. Yeah, best of summer journal. journal. <laughs> what comes it's got a going on? on it, so it's kind of a. It's durable. It's durable as all get out. 
You know, it's like this journal belongs to. So we've got some of those. Next. Oh, we've got, yeah, the shirts. We've got some Chicago Cub shirts. We have the larger ones, but these are just XL. Just a moment. We got these guys. So XL for those of us who are not so fluffy. I do have fluffy ones as well, if, as well, if somebody wants to jump in on that. So I've got a couple of those and a towel that came with this lot. New with tags. Are you doing this right? There we go. Fly the W. How about almost fluffy? I think that's the category I fit into. Hi, Music. Almost. How are you? Almost. Hi, Perlini. There you go. I'm in the almost, almost fluffy category. <laughs> Give um, me another gonna... year and I'll be in the fluffy category, right? I'm telling you, man, but you like your shirts big, right? Come on. Um, exactly. So a couple of lots of DVDs. So we got some Elvis in there, too. So Ruth should be around. For oh, that. yeah. We're going to have to let Ruth know. Yeah, let Ruth know for sure. I will. She loves so the Elvis. Stuff. And I've got some PlayStation, a couple lots of PlayStation 1 games, which Mary will now hand me because she's doing a wonderful day. Everybody give her a one in the chat. She's doing a good job. Oh, good God. No, really. <laughs> We got some PlayStation One games. Don't a couple just different don't. Lots of those as well. What else are we forgetting? What are we forgetting? Wait, wait, there's more. There's always more. Oh, the second lot of PlayStation. Don't do that. They're not broken. She says they're not broken. See, they're there. And but wait, there's more. Is there? I'm sure there is. We're not bidding yet. Music. The auction is tonight at seven. Right oh, now. Oh no, she put a one in the chat. Because uh, I, said, yeah, I said put a one in the chat because uh, Mary's doing a good job. That's why they put ones in the chat. Oh, okay, gotcha. I I that we're kind of so yes, she like, is no, doing a good job. Don't bid. <laughs> it's too early. Oh, yeah. Um, Forgive me. I don't know what I'm talking about. And we got um, one of these digital picture frames, seven inch. It's new in box. I, you know, I didn't pull it out. To test it, but it's new in box. So I have one of those. They're very cool. They're perfect for your desk, your office desk. And what we do, we have one that we put in the booth, uh, our antique booth. And I put on the chip. I put a bunch of you know promotional stuff on our Facebook and our you know our Instagrams, and then it just kind of rotates through. What in the a booth. good idea. Yeah, it works well. So if anybody's interested in that, that would be good to have in the back of your camera there, Roberta, like sitting in the back where you have your, um, you have all your stuff written on that little sign. There you go. Put it in that yeah. picture frame would be perfect. I know. Works great. Um, we got more fabric too. <clears throat> Please hold while I make a mess of this fabric. So there's three different kinds here. Yep. <laughs> and now Mira will take it away from me because I'm manhandling it. So woman this handling. is from 1982. It's house and home fabrics and draperies incorporated. Um, it's screen printed. It's 45 by 61 inches. That's cool. That's a neat kind of country pattern. I like this one the best. Well, maybe, maybe. At least one of us can follow directions music. I'm obviously not very good at it. <laughs> we're looking at numbers going, no. <laughs> yeah, I thought people were starting to bid. I'm like, wait well, a thank minute. Thank you, music. Music thinks we're the bomb. Thank you, music. They are the bomb. Aw, thank you guys. She's so sweet. She's so sweet. <laughs> this is that's cool too. It's a stretchy, it's it's got some stretch to it. It's 54 inches by 55 inches. Not much, but a little bit. Yeah, it almost feels like a stretchy jean material, but yeah. I don't like it down. It's got a very 60s, 70s looking print. I like the print. And then the color. And it's cute. It's really cute. This one I like too. I have a thing for florals. She does. I do. So this fabric is 60 by 96. So 60 inches by a yard and 30 inches. And, that's, and it's a knit fabric. Yeah, it's more of a, it's not a cotton for sure. No. But it's really cool. It reminds me of a country picnic kind of. And I love those vintage prints and they're getting popular again right now too. Well, my, yeah, she's got them. <laughs> this one's heavy. Oh, there's one more. All right. So yeah. you want to go vintage? We're going to go vintage. This is really good. Here we go. This is an orange knit fabric. It's 65 by 50. Perfect for that leisure suit you've been dying to make all these years. <laughs> right, Mama? I'm not the best at the sewing machine, but 
All my ah. sisters are. I'm gonna have to get my sister in because she's a boss on the machine. This looks like you could make it in I'm a suit. thinking this is like 70s or 80s, possibly. And I'm not sure if it's transferring well, but the the like the main stripe down the middle here is kind of an orange, burnt orange, and it's a brownish. So it's 138 inches by 62 inches. I was just seeing if it did anything with the vertical hold on the TV. There you go. You're good. <sighs> so, um, yeah, it's pretty heavy-duty fabric, actually. So would you say it's like upholstery-ish or... No, it's That's not. More, it's more of like a suit kind of, yeah, suit, suit coat kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, that would make suit an coat. awesome that pair of slacks and a jacket for sure. Yeah, exactly. Is so, that everything? I think. Oh, the dog is snoring. Please forgive any sound you hear coming from the rafters. <laughs> you can almost hear it. You can almost hear I it. I think. And there might be a few more things, depending on what we dig up before tonight. Yeah. Well, that's a good sample's worth there, too. So if you are in the chat, please tell your friends. Please. Um, particularly if you have people who sew, get them in here so we can get some of those uh, fabrics sold. But mm -hmm. looks like there's going to be some awesome stuff tonight. I, I think definitely I might see things I want to bid on. Button jars. I might throw together a few button jars, too. Oh, nice. You know who, um, I don't know if she is still in, but Anita Fanita loves vintage buttons. Does she? Um, cool. Yeah, she's bought vintage buttons for me before. I think she uses them to make these crowns, too. So oh, neat. She, okay. um, she makes some really cool stuff with them. Cool. Yeah, I'll try to do it before tonight. That sounds cool. Yeah, we do have a lot of crafters in that would probably be interested in a lot of that uh, vintage buttons and fabrics and stuff. So that would be good. That would be great. Yeah. Um, so please spread the word. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe. Please give us a thumbs up. I have Mary and Dawn's channel, Two Hip Chicks. There, um, There's a link to their channel in the description box when the video posts. Please go over there and subscribe to their channel too and support what they do on their channel. They do quite a lot of different things. So Never a dull moment. You will enjoy it. I have listened to their 12 o'clock show while I'm at work a few times when I wasn't supposed to be. So <laughs> um, <laughs> they asked me, what are you laughing about? <laughs> nothing, 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 nothing. Nothing. Something just struck nothing. me funny. That's all. I'm good. Yeah, it's uh, T-O-O, <laughs> two hot chicks. <laughs> Well, thank you. Yeah, too funny. Yes, I'm a little slow yeah. on the uptake today, music, but I get it now. <laughs> <laughs> but it should be a lot of fun. We really had a blast last time. We always try and have a good time at our auctions. There is no pressure to buy. It's just come, enjoy. If you see something you like, then bid on it. Yeah. And we will yeah, see. Bid often. Yeah. Yeah. Bid often. Bid, early bid, bid, bid often. That's right. Uh, but we will see you all tonight at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time on the Stills and Dills channel. If some of you may be listening on my channel, but the auction tonight will be on Stills and Dills. It won't be broadcast to my channel, but I did, like I said, I sent out a link um, in an email to help you find it tonight if you're not already familiar with it. But don't forget, go sub to everybody all around. You won't regret it. So anything you guys want to say about tonight? Any last words? Um, just come on down and have some fun. For That's sure. It. That's why we're it. doing it. Just to have a little fun. Yeah, we'll do our best to entertain the masses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no rubber noses, though. We don't do rubber noses. I'm sorry. No. No, that's, that's not needed. Y'all are funny enough. You don't need the rubber noses. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> However, they would be hysterical if one of you popped up with a rubber nose tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Quick, run to the dollar store. Get a, get a rubber nose. <laughs> it is Halloween. We, I'm sure we can. I find bet one. you could find one. Oh yeah, you probably could right now. Didn't even think about that. <laughs> yeah. Gotta well, go. It, it will be a blast. I guarantee you it will be two and a half hours of fun. You will not be bored. So hopefully we will see you all there tonight. So right now we are going to sign off so we can uh, rest up and be ready for tonight's auction. Don't forget, tell your friends. Love you all and thank you for coming. Thanks Say goodbye.
Bye, everybody. See you there. Good, Good night. night. <laughs>